What's going on guys? Welcome to episode 54 of our NC State Return to Prime Dynasty. This is our bowl game as we face the USC Trojans in the Orange Bowl in Miami. Uh, it's a great place to play, but we are going to be the home team as we're taking a look at Chuck Griffin, who has 9 touchdowns on the season, but has 1,600 yards rushing. What a great a year it's been for him, except for the touchdown totals. Uh, Koch has more than him, I'm pretty sure, because Koch usually goes in in the late games and he gets more. But everybody's getting warmed up and stretching out as Brown's getting warmed up as well. And uh, so we're going to take a look at the USC Trojans, I believe, also getting stretched out. Maybe not. We're going to see Griffin taking a snap. But as the game starts, we end up kicking the ball away first. And we'll pick up third and seven for the USC Trojans Hunter will drop out a pass and he will look. He will look. He'll be sacked on the play by Cox and they will have to punt the ball away. So, first possession of the game for the NC State Wolfpack. Mangum's looking to run and Griffin up the gut. Griffin will get the ball and Griffin will get a nice pickup in the first down, about 10 yards on that play. So, now it'll be first and 10 for the Wolfpack. Mangum will go ahead and hand the ball off to Griffin again. Griffin will go right hand side and Griffin will get a nice pickup, about six on the play. So, after a one yard loss on the previous play, it'll be third and five. For the Wolfpack, as Mangum will go ahead and hand the ball off to Griffin again. But wait, he's going to audible for vertical uh, in shotgun formation. He will drive back to pass. He will look and look. He will fire it right-hand side, find Lane. And Lane has a great catch inside the 20-yard line. So now it will be second and 10 after a zero-yard rush by Chuck Griffin. And Mangum is going to go ahead and flip the play to the left-hand side. He will hand the ball off to Griffin. Griffin will get some nice blocking. And Griffin will get a nice pick of about four on the play. So now, after an incomplete pass, will be fourth and six. We'll bring on Oliver Smith, and Oliver Smith will knock it through to put three points on the board. NC State strikes first to get a three-to-nothing lead as it's first and ten for the Trojans. Hunter will go ahead and send a man in motion. He will drop back to pass, and he will actually throw to that man who is Brown, and Brown will get a nice pick of about six on the play on that reception. So after an incomplete pass, will be third and four for the USC Trojans. Hunter sets up an eye formation. He will go ahead and hand the ball off to Hayes, and Hayes will go right up the gut, and Hayes will get a nice first down play right there. So now it will be first and ten for the USC Trojans as looking to run off slant to the left, it looks like. And uh, Hunter will go ahead and hand off to Hayes, and Hayes will outrun our defensive lineman, McKinney and finally be tackled by Contrell out of bounds, but he does get the first down. So now I formation for the Trojans as Hunter goes under center. He will drop back to pass. He will look and he's going to fire out to the right hand side of the wide open Hayes. And Hayes has loads of space in front of him. Hayes is down inside the 30 yard line. So now second and four after a four yard rush by Stephen Hayes. As 24 seconds are left on the clock in the first quarter. I formation. Hunter will drop back to pass. He's going to look. He's going to fire left hand side. And uh, Timley will actually knock him out of bounds for a 10 yard loss on that play. As it brings up third and 16 for the USC Trojans. Shotgun formation for Hunter. He will go ahead and fake. Hard count, and he will drop back to pass. He's going to change up somebody's play, and Preston will be shredded off basically by him as Johnson catches the ball over the middle and is inside the five yard line. So, first and goal at the start of the second quarter for the UFC Trojans. They are driving on this very good NC State defense, and so uh, Hunter will hand off, and Hayes will be met in the backfield for a two yard loss. So, now it'll be second and goal for the Trojans as Southern California uh, is looking pretty good already in this game, but they may not be that good as Hunter hands off to Hayes for a two-yard loss. We'll have to really see how good they really are and as the game progresses. Third and goal, Hunter will drive back to pass. He's going to look, you know, fire deep into the left-hand side of the end zone. It'll be caught by Johnson. Touchdown at USC as they take a 7-3 to lead over the Wolf Pack. And now as Mingham brings the troops to the line, he will audible out of the ISO play. Into shotgun four verticals. He will drop back to pass. He's going to look. Look, he's going to fire deep right hand side and find Lane. And Lane's broken free down the sidelines. Out across the 20 yard line. And he has a touchdown for the uh, NC State Wolfpack as they take a 10 to 7 lead. And after a good old punt from the Trojans, Mangum will hand the ball off to Griffin on first down. And Griffin will get a nice pick of about seven on the play. So what a touchdown pass that was from Mangum to Lane. And uh, Mangum will run Griffin again on second and three, and Griffin will get the first down. So now, first and ten for the Wolf Pack after that nice run. Mangum's looking to run Griffin again, but he will go ahead and audible four verticals. Once again, he will drop back to pass, and he will look, and he will fire over left hand side of the field. It's going to be intercepted by Covington. Defense making a turnover, 
And so now they get the ball back around the 40 four-yard line after a one-yard rush by Hayes. Hunter will drive back to pass, and he will look. He's going to fire left-hand side and find Brantley, and Brantley has the first down for the Trojans. So now Hunter will go under center, slowly walking up to the center's behind, and he will send his Brown in motion, which is his tight end, and uh, he will go ahead and wait, and he will drive back to pass. Hunter looking will fire over right-hand side of the field. It's going to be count, caught by Brown, and Brown has basically the first down, but they don't give it to him. 10-yard reception on the play. Second and inches, that helps out our defense because if we can stop him here, the first third down, force a third down. So Hunter will drive back to pass. He's going to fire. Left-hand side of the field is going to find Harris, and Harris has a touchdown. They take a 14-10 to lead over the NC State Wolfpack. And so after a punt from the Wolfpack, USC will take over. Shot confirmation for Hunter. He will drive it to pass on first down. He will look over the middle and find Brown. And Brown has a nice pickup about eight on the play. So second and two coming up for the USC Trojans as they lead 14 to 10 with one minute remaining in the second quarter. Hunter will go ahead and drive out a pass, and he will look, and he will actually scramble, and he will be sacked on the play by Preston. So that was a nice five-yard sack on that play. So now it'll be third and seven, running hurry-up offense. Hunter will drive out to pass, and he will look. He'll fire deep ball right-hand side. The field's going to be knocked away by Mike Manning, almost intercepted, but it'll be fourth and seven, so they'll have to punt the ball away themselves. So now it will be first and ten for the Wolfpack. Mangum shotgun formation audible into four verticals. We'll drive out a pass. He's going to fire deep down the field. He's going to find Espinoza of the defense. And so another interception of the day. That's two for this USC defense. So first and ten for the Trojans as Hunter will drive back to pass. And he will look shotgun formation. He's going to look and look and look. He's going to scramble. And he will avoid Cox and Hunter's broken free. And Leach is going to come up and lay some lumber. And Hunter will fumble the ball. It's going to be recovered by Goodman. They turn the ball over late in the second quarter. And so now it will be first and 10 for the Wolfpack. Mangum shotgun formation. He will go ahead and drop back to pass. And he will look. He's going to find wide open Lane down the right-hand side of the field. And Lane will shred a man. And he will be finally tackled inside the 30-yard line. So it will be first and 10. One timeout remaining for this um NC State Wolfpack offense. Shock information. Mangum will drive out to pass and he will look. He's going to fire left hand side of the field. He's going to find Love and Love's inside the 10 yard line. So now it'll be first single with nine seconds remaining in the second half, or first half, second quarter that is. Mangum will drive out to pass. He's going to fire in the middle. He's going to be intercepted by Phillips. Third interception of the day, but he will be tackled at the two yard line. That's important because here comes first down and 10 for the USC Trojans. Hunter will hand off the ball off to Hayes. And Timley and Williamson will tackle him in the end zone for a two point safety. So we will go into the halftime four, down by two points, and we will get the ball back. So after a zero-yard rush, it will be second and ten. Mangum's going to fire deep down left inside the field. It's going to be intercepted by Covington. Another interception of the day. It's the fourth interception and second interception for Covington. So we don't do anything on our opening possession of the second half. So now first down and ten for the USC Trojan. Hunter runs some play action. He will look. He'll fire right inside and find his man, Brantley for the first down. So now it'll be first and ten for the USC Trojans as Hunter will send a man motion pitch left with Hayes and Hayes will be met in the backfield by Preston for a three yard loss. So now it'll be second and thirteen. Defense is pretty much holding their own at this point. As Hunter goes under center, he will hand the ball off to Hunter, and Hunter will make some men miss. He will basically shove Mike Manning on the ground with a stiff arm, and he will pick up the first down as Control wraps him up. So now it will be second and six after a four-yard rush, and Hunter will go ahead and send Brown in motion once again. Hunter will drive back to pass, and he will look and look, and he will scramble again, and he will make Williamson miss, and he will pick up the first down and some more. So it will be second and 10 after an incomplete pass for the USC Trojans offense as they're inside the red zone. Now in NC State territory, Hunter will drive out the pass and he will look and look. And he's going to fire over the right-hand side and find Brantley. And Brantley has an 8-yard reception. So third and two coming up for the USC Trojans. As they're looking to score in their own titled end zone. And Hayes is going to set up in the Wildcat formation. And he will hand the ball off. Actually, he'll fake the handoff and keep it himself and be stuck at the line. Fourth and three coming up. They'll bring their kicking unit onto the field. And the kick will be up. And it will be good. So they would take an eight-point lead late in the third quarter. And after a negative one-yard rush, Mangum will go ahead and hand the ball off to Griffin. And Griffin will get nowhere, but he will pick up only two. So it will be third and nine running hurry-up offense again. Mangum will go ahead and call an audible on a route. And he will drive out a pass. He's going to fire over the left-hand side deep down the field. And it will be 
almost intercepted. So fourth and nine, going to run some hurry up offense right here. As it is fourth and nine and late in the game, we're gonna go ahead and set up in the four verticals. I believe Mangum will go ahead and audible out of it as he takes a look at the defense. As you can see, Mangum's looking, and he will drop back to pass. He's going to look, look, and look. He's going to fire deep down the field. Intercepted by Holiday. The fourth interception, sorry, fifth interception of, of the day by Mangum in this USC defense. So now after a negative one-yard rush, USC is in a prime position to take a more commanding lead of this game as Hunter hands the ball off to Hayes, and Hayes will be met, but not before he gets three yards on the play. So now it will be 38, third and eight with 38 seconds left in the third quarter. As Hunter goes under center, he will go ahead and draw back to pass, and he will look and look, and he's going to fire deep over the middle. It's going to be caught by Hall, and Hall's at the 20-yard line. First and 10 now translates into second and nine after a one-yard rush at the start of the fourth quarter. In I formation, Hunter will go under center and hand the ball off to Hayes, and Hayes will make some men miss, but he will only get five yards. So now, fourth and five after an incomplete pass uh, for the USC Trojans. They will bring on the kicking unit to try to make it an eight-point game, and they do. It is an eight-point game, as it was a five-point lead before that. So it's still possibly a two-possession game. And so now, first and ten, Mangum will hand the ball off to Griffin. Griffin will get some nice space on the right-hand side and get the first down on the play. So nice running right there as we run the no-huddle offense. Mangum's going to audible in the four verticals, still thinking about throwing the ball, even though he's in, been intercepted five times. Mangum will drop out of passing going to fire over the right-hand side and find Lane, and Lane's down the sidelines. Lane is crossed the 20-yard line out to about the 16 or 18-yard line. So now it'll be second and 11 after, an incom after a negative one-yard lo loss. Mangum will drop out of passing, going to fire. Actually, he will be fire. He will actually fire the ball, but it will fall incomplete as he gets hit. So now it'll be third and eleven with four one left in the fourth quarter. Mangum will drop out of passing. He will fire left hand side. He has Lane, and Lane almost gets into the end zone, but he is inside the five yard line. So now running no huddle once again. First and goal, going to hand the ball off to Chuck Griffin, and Griffin will get stuffed at the line. Second and goal coming up, running no huddle continuously right here, as. Mangum will go ahead and drop out of passing a fire into the end zone. Fine. Brown! Touchdown NC State as they are only down by two points now. So that means that they're going to line up for the two-point conversion. Here we go. Two-point conversion. This could be the ball game right here. Mangum drops back to passing a fire in the end zone. Fine. Jordan! Jordan completes it. It's tied 20-20 with 339 left in the game. And USC has to punt the ball away. So with 153 left in the game, first and 10, Mangum is going to hand the ball off to Griffin. And Griffin will get a nice pick about two on the play. So now it'll be second and eight, running no huddle. Mangum will go ahead and fake the handoff to Griffin. He will fire the right-hand side and find Wilkinson. And Wilkinson has the first down. So now it's going to be first and 10 in prime position to win this game right here. For the Wolfpack, Mangum will go ahead and send Jordan in motion. Hand the ball off to Griffin, and Griffin will get six yards. Second and four coming up, but he is hurt on the play, so that means that Koch will come in to relieve him as he will be out for the rest of the game. So second and four now for the Wolfpack. Mangum is going to hand the ball off to Koch. Koch will go and be stuffed at the line for a two-yard loss. Defense is holding up for the USC Trojans. Third and six, Mangum, shotgun formation. Four verticals will drive back to passing. He'll be sacked on the play, fourth and four. And he will come out looking like he will go for it. Fourth and four. This could be the ball game. And as he surveys the defense, he's looking for a hole, but he there is none. So Mangum will go ahead and call a timeout. And US and NC State will punt the ball away. And USC will get the ball back with 42 seconds left in the game. Looking to possibly make a game-winning drive. So now Hunter will send Brown in motion. And he will go ahead and drive back to pass. And Hunter's looking. He's going to fire it over the middle. It's going to be intercepted by Hearn. Hearn gets a great interception. Clutch defensive play for the NC State Wolf Pack. As the offense takes over at the 50-yard line, Mangum will hand the ball off to Koch. And Koch will go left-hand side up the middle and get the first down as I gotta say, Griffin is out for the rest of the game with bruised ribs. So now, first and ten, Mangum gonna hand the ball off to Koch. Koch is gonna left hand side again, and Koch has the first down and more out across the 30 yard line. First and ten, 22 seconds left in the game, running no huddle. Mangum's gonna go ahead and hand the ball off to Koch again, and Koch is gonna go and get a nice couple of yards, about six on the play. So now, with 10 seconds left in the game, they're going to try to do a hurry-up offense. And Mangum's looking. And five seconds left, they're going to call a timeout. So here we go. Five seconds left. Oliver Smith on the kick. USC is going to try to ice him. Second and four. Five seconds left in the game. 38-yard uh, uh, 
the field goal. Here we go. Oliver Smith, the kick is up. Has the distance. The kick is up. And it is good. NC State takes a 23-20 lead over the USC Trojans here in the Orange Bowl. Number four team in the nation. And on the ensuing kickoff, Oliver Smith is going to squib it. And it's going to be caught by Brantley. And Brantley's going to return it. He's out across the 35. And he'll be sacked. And he tackled on the play. And that will end the game. NC State comes from behind and pulls out the victory late in the fourth quarter as they take the Orange Bowl and all the oranges that come with it. What a great victory for the NC State Wolfpack as they just barely missed the national championship game. And the final score again is 23-20. to What a game for the Wolfpack in their final game of the series as the play of the game is that long touchdown pass to Lane, and on our second, I believe our second possession of the game was a one-play touchdown. What a play by Lane and Mangum to make that play. And so as the confetti falls, we will see who the player of the game is as Booker is happy and everybody's happy as uh, James Castle gets a bowl, another bowl went underneath his belt as he improves to a great winning percentage here at NC State. USC has been shocked they are base. They were the uh, favorites to win. As Sean Lane is the player of the game, five receptions, 216 yards, and that touchdown play. What a great receiver! As we get the Orange Bowl, what a great BCS win for the NC State Wolfpack. As James Castle is happy to have all that fruit in his body at the end of this. So we are number two team in the nation. As LSU lost in the championship game, as the Wisconsin Badgers. Take the national championship. I wish we could play them because look at this. They're 13-0. We're 13 When We played one extra game. We should be able to get another chance. But since there's no playoff system yet, we don't get the chance to. Um, I wish that we could have because I think we could have probably beat them. But uh, NC State takes a great victory. Uh, as you can see, the final tallies of the season. As Maryland was actually number seven. Wow. And so we're going to go ahead and look over at what I have 100% job security at this point. Um, so it's pretty awesome. I was so happy for our boys in this one, and uh, it's definitely a great way to end the series. Uh, it is not ending here, though. There will be one more episode uh, as I will send the series off right uh, in the way it should be. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, a bigger thank you will be coming later on, definitely. But definitely thank you guys for watching this great, amazing game that we took it to the USC Trojans, and uh, as we finish number two in the BCS uh, polls. Uh, so thank you guys for watching and uh, what a great season. I will see you guys next time. Bye.